Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand a beautiful concept that even though the fetus is completely a different genetic individual because it is getting the genetic information from both the mother as well as the father. So the genetic component is completely different from the mother but still the fetus is not rejected. So we are going to understand why it is happening like that. So what is the reason for the failure to reject the fetal graft? The placental tropoblast which are formed during the time of implantation they are specifically designed in a way such that they don't express the major histocompatibility complex either both the one as well as the MSC2. What is this MSC? This MSC is the one which will create the antigenic response against any foreign bodies. So if the placental trophoblast are not expressing this MSC genes, what can happen is there is less chances of immune reactions and less chances of reaction. Plus, they express the HLA G, which is a non polymorphic gene. Because of these reasons, the fetus is not rejected. MSC1 is not there, MSC2 is not there. So, there is not going to be any immune reactions against the fetus. Plus, we have one more backup in the humans that is, the placenta, it also has a ligand called as fast ligand. So, if, just in case, if the mother produces some antibodies against the fetus, Still, this placenta has fast ligands which can bind the T cells and they will cause the apoptosis of the T cells thereby preventing the mother. It is such a wonder that even in the, in the mother's womb, the fetus is like a completely separated individual and it is separated with the help of placental trophoblasts. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We'll see in the next video. Thank you.